All right, everybody. Good morning. How's everybody doing? It's 6 a.m. And I literally just woke up, made another video uh, that's which is probably going to be uploaded first. I'm not entirely sure yet. Maybe I upload this one first. I don't know yet. We will see. Uh, we're going to talk about um, the Blue Hive. The Blue Hive. I made some changes. Yes, 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 yes. Everybody wanted me to do some changes for the perfect Blue Hive. And uh, it's a work in progress. This is why it's an updated video. Uh, right now, I've uh, of course I want to make uh, or give a little bit of a shout out to somebody that helped me, which is the Reverse RNG God. Um, uh, yeah, the link to his server and his Discord is going to be in the description box below. Um, so here's something that I want to tell everybody. So everybody was on a, they were they were pretty unhappy with my music piece so they had mixed feelings about my perfect blue hive build obviously i listen to the community and i'm always there and i'm always ready to learn something new you know to make it better to make it a better experience now what i came across were a lot of people saying that you need an alt account uh you should have more bouillon bees you should have less uh, tadpole bees right and <clears throat> And there should be some changes made to your hive. Now, the actual most useful tips I got was from the reverse RNG uh, god, which helped me uh, out a lot. But um, we're gonna go over a few things here because things have changed. You know, the hive has changed, and uh, I also have to make a few more changes to it because I believe that having 11 or 12 uh, tadpole bees is just not enough for a solo build because I'm probably not gonna get in, uh, you know, no, not probably not gonna get people in it. But you, if you really want to, I'm also gonna make a video on that. If you really want to have the most out of the blue hive, you will probably need an alt account or some friends to play it with that have more uh, tadpole bees, you know, just to boost your hive. But I kind of want to build a perfect uh, solo build because most of you, you know, let's face it, most of you don't have friends. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm actually serious. Um, no, really, we don't really have a lot of friends that play the same game and then, you know, they they are not going to switch, you know, or you're going to double lock because most of you out there are going to run a play, for example, with a phone or, you know, you, you just don't have the PC to run two uh, games at the same time. You never know. I mean, I, I do. I have a gaming computer, but... Uh, you know, I just don't really want to like, or maybe you're like me. You just don't want to put in the the amount of time uh, that uh, you know that others have because you would have to you know level up another character. You have to give him tadpole bees and stuff and so on. It's just a lot of hassle, which we don't really want to do, right? So I am working on a solo build. Now, uh, the basic bee stayed, but I actually got the bomber bee in there, which I thought, yeah, it does kind of make sense, you know, because the buzz bomb is going to give us, uh, you know, fill up the hives a little bit more, so it's going to do a little bit more faster, you know, so we're going to get the, you know, the, the good old uh, pop star and everything else just a little bit more faster. So I did get the bomber bee in there. Many people uh, actually commented uh, below and said, you need the bomber bee, and I got the bomber bee. Now, people actually say, they can get rid of the bubble bee, which we're going to talk about in a second, and I'm kind of thinking about it as well, but, you know, let's see. Uh, we have the bumblebee and the cool bee still in there. Uh, I actually have to get a hasty bee in there as well, uh, just for the speed, but, uh, you know, as of right now, it's not in there yet, so it's not completely fully updated, but yeah, whatever. Mm. Ah, some water, always stay hydrated. Uh, the looker bee stays rad bee rascal, mm -hmm. stubborn bee. Actually, that's another bee that was uh, exchanged from the shark bee. Uh, this one has the 20% ability token lifespan. People actually think it's going to be better, so I'm going to keep that in there as well. I kind of see, I kind of see why that's a good thing because the um, bomb uh, tokens are going to stay on the field just a little longer. Like I said, Bubble Bee is still very controversial, could be taken out for something else, for maybe another tadpole, for example. Um, but yeah, anyways, it's still pretty alright to keep. Uh, the Commander Bee stays. Uh, Exhausted Bee actually took out white field capacity. Oh no, I actually never had it. Never mind. Um, people are saying that you could actually put in the Exhausted Bee for a wide field capacity for the 20%, um, but I'm not really entirely sure if I will keep it in there or not. You guys can tell me in the uh, comment section below. Now we have the Frosty in there. I actually took out the Honey Bee. Everybody, literally everyone, was saying you can take the Honey Bee out because a Bouillon Bee, a Bouillon Bee, weird name, man, uh, or a Tadpole Bee is going to, you're going to profit much more from it instead of the Honey Bee. So I actually took it out, which is quite insane. 
but yeah, it makes sense uh, because the honey from tokens is not necessarily too OP. We really want to make the money of our balloons, right? So I took it out, to, took your advice. Thank you very much. Shark bee is gone as well. We don't need a baby bee. We don't need a carpenter bee. We don't need a demon bee. Uh, got one diamond bee in there. And here it is, everybody. I know, I know, I know. You need more music bees. And, um, yeah, followed, followed, no problem. And there it is. Three music bees plus, I think I have something else in there to make some more melody tokens. But we got three music bees in there. Everybody said it and you got it. There you go. Are you happy? Are you happy, people? Look at them. You can just look at them. There, 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 there. They are. Oh, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> wow. Anyways, Ninja Bee got in that. Now, this is where the spicy stuff happens, right? 17 Booyan Bees and 12 Tadpole Bees. Now, um, I've been running this, and I think it was a slight improvement. It was a little bit better, but I do notice uh, less bubbles on the field. So I'm kind of thinking about getting uh, another Tadpole Bee in exchange of a Booyan Bee, or maybe even in exchange of the Bubble Bee, but I need more tadpole bees um now another few changes have been made uh towards the cobalt and crimson uh not not the cobalt and crimson i mean the cobalt and the festive bee i took out the festive bee it does make sense um you know i don't think that festive gifts anymore is more worth than a bouillon or a tadpole bee so i took out the festive bee as well um took out the cobalt bee too which is a pretty big surprise but the instant blue conversion is not necessarily going to be more important than making honey at the hive so the cobalt bee has been actually dropped out as well uh, we still have the gummy bee and now the craziest part um, I took out the windy bee because I think a bouillon bee is still going to be better than a windy bee which some people are going to think controversial as well but um, for a perfect blue hive I think you might not need the windy bee so yeah now the vicious bee is something where people were fighting over mm. And it kind of depends on your play style, right? So if you really, um, for, for example, I do a lot of um, stump snails. So I do a lot of stumpy. I still do a lot of boss farming because I need it for the tickets. I'm going to keep the Vicious Bee. There's no debate on it whatsoever. I am going to keep the Vicious Bee. I could be taking out the Puppy Bee, but uh, before I'm going to be a max level hive, I'm not going to take out the Puppy Bee. I'm going to keep the puppy bee, to be honest, so I'm not going to touch the hive. I also made some other changes. I, As you can see here, the full upper side um, is gifted. I gifted, I think, about five or four bees. Um, I used 4,000 tickets, as far as I believe, and I used 100 gingerbread beers. I actually wasted my gingerbread beers because I don't need them anymore. Even if they become aged, they're just going to give you twice the amount of... I don't know what I was given, I think, I don't know, like EXP or something. It's not necessarily worth it to get him to wait an entire year to get him age. So I use them to level up my base. Well, not level up, but you know what I'm saying, right? To gift them. And that is the updated version of the Blue Hive. I still believe that I need more tadpole bees. It needs to be a little bit more, I would say, maybe balanced. So I might actually get in 13 to 16, you know somewhere on the, along those lines but I could also actually take out the bubble the bubble bee or whatever it's here the bubble bee um, because of the 50% bubble pollen I don't necessarily need that I don't necessarily need 50% bubble pollen because we are gonna convert at the hive so I might actually take out the bubble bee I need the community here to um, tell me what is popping do you want me to take out the bubble bee for another tadpole bee what do you think? Uh, I, I might actually uh, make a, p a poll on my YouTube channel and we'll see what people are going to say about that. Now, this is about that, I think. I think, yeah, uh, I've shown you everything, uh, the changes I made, which are actually quite drastic, which are pretty big changes. Um, I'm going to get full, motivate, uh, full nectars and then we will be seeing if that's going to do something for us. Um, I haven't tried it out yet with full nectar, uh, but I think it might actually be a better hive than I had before. So that's going to be really interesting um, to see how that is going to develop over the time, over the next few days. I'm going to definitely keep you guys uh, updated. I'm going to keep you posted and we will see each other in the next video. And thank you very much for watching. Peace out.